And when she used that term, the core three, I bet you she was talking about the people that were sitting right there in front of her. Because remember, Lexi is a starter. Did y'all forget about that? Lexi is a starter. So what if she did mean that, that core three statement? Meaning those three sitting in front of her. Because I would be embarrassed if, if, if that lady said core three and I'm sitting in front of her and they ain't talking about me. And I'm in a starting lineup. You're going to start, look, if anything, you're going to start some division. Seriously. This look like it might be a problem, guys. Look, I'm just, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm trying to be realistic. And realistically, it kind of looked like Kelsey might not come back to this team. <laughs>boy chocolate with the sexy body welcome to a new episode of chocolate plays reaction videos look did y'all see the press conference yesterday with stephanie white did you see it she said some great things guys said a lot of great things i like how she said it's gonna be more up tempo offense gonna move the ball real fast i like how they said they're gonna emphasize defense i love that i like how they said that they're gonna build around caitlin clark like they built around tyrese halliburton in indiana i like all those things that coach white said but what was missing was that nothing was said about Kelsey Mitchell. Not a damn thing. Look, I did a live, and in that live, I held that press conference. I showed the whole press conference. And I realized, after I watched it for the second time, that they never said anything about Kelsey Mitchell. Now, I understand. I understand Lexi was there. Kaitlyn was there. Boston was there. But Mitchell's in China right now. She's playing basketball overseas. So that's why she wasn't there. But then... I had to pass, bypass that to think about this. They used the word core three. And when they used the word core three, the people that were sitting in front of us was Lexi, Boston, and Caitlin. Why didn't they use the word core four? Huh? Why didn't anybody ask a question about Kelsey Mitchell at all? There was no question about Kelsey Mitchell. And one of my subscribers, Jamie, Jamie brought it to my attention when she said, what do they mean about forward thinking? So my first suggestion about that was, well, let's say, I guess they're saying forward thinking, like thinking past the coaching that they had with Coach Sides, thinking past the year that they had with Coach Sides and moving forward into the future, right? Building a better team. But it could also sound like this, looking forward to building a roster that does not have certain people on it. And those certain people are not in this room. It can look like that, guys. You can always say these things like, right, that when somebody's right in front of you, it's easy for you to say their names and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter because Kelsey Mitchell is a focal part of this team and her name was not mentioned not one time during that interview. Nobody asked a question about her. The president didn't bring her name up when talking about rebuilding the team. The coach didn't say anything about her when they were talking about high IQ players. Did y'all hear them say they got high? The, the president said they got high IQ players. She said, like in Boston, you know, and, and, and Kayla, how she sees the court. Then she said Lexi. She didn't say anybody else's name. And I know you could probably like, well, they were there sitting in front of her. It doesn't matter. Kelsey Mitchell is an all-star. And the fact that you didn't mention her name in a high IQ situation, a conversation, they did not mention her name not one time in the conversation with this coach being there. I feel a little bit concerned. I, I get it. Everybody's talking about Kelsey Mitchell. She she hint, hinted that she's going to come back to this team, but she's also a restricted free agent. They can't, I, I think they said they can call her, right? Or they can't call her. One of the two. But she's, she's, she's going to be a free agent. And she can go out there and test the water to see if she can get a team and make it her own. She can go do that. Or she can stay back on this team, right, and they can go get a title together. I would feel like that's her best option, but I am not her. Kelsey Plum is in the same situation. She's about to leave the Aces. She's a free agent. Some people saying she might go over to the Valkyrie so she can start her own team in the state where she's from. Now, who's to say that Kelsey Mitchell will going to try to do something like that? Look, it's up in the air, guys. I don't, I'm saying it, but I don't want it to happen. I do not want Kelsey Mitchell to go to any other team. But with the way these things are looking, with that press conference, and the fact that in that press conference, nobody said anything about Kelsey. And the fact that in her press conference, right, she said that the options are open. I don't like the way that they talking. I don't. Because I need some guarantee. Because you cannot replace Kelsey Mitchell just like that.
You can't. Who you gonna replace her with? Seriously? Burger? You gonna bring somebody off the bench to replace Kelsey Mitchell? You gonna go out there and get somebody in the draft that can replace Kelsey Mitchell who's already proven? Look, it said that they can't match an offer for Kelsey Mitchell. It said that they're going to have to pay her more. So this might be a move by Kelsey. Mm -hmm. This might be a move out of Kelsey to get some more money. Because she might understand this. Hey, man, the WNBA is changing. They about to start paying us. So let me go ahead and test this free agency water. Wink, wink. Let me go test this free agency and see if there's anybody else out there who want to give me an offer. Right? I believe Kelsey's going to do that. I believe she, 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 cause opportunity is open. She can go out there, test the water, right? Just to go in there and have numbers thrown at her. So she can look back at the fever and be like, look, they done threw this much at me. How much y'all gonna throw at me? I'm telling you guys that her position on this team is solidified. She's the one. Come back. Go get a title together. But I'm just saying the way that they was talking in that damn interview by not bringing up her name. And yes, she is in China. She wasn't there with everybody. But damn it, still, she's one of the best people on your team and you don't bring her name up? That's weird. It's weird. And when she used that term, the core three, I bet you she was talking about the people that were sitting right there in front of her. Because remember, Lexi is a starter. Did y'all forget about that? Lexi is a starter. So what if she did mean that, that core three statement? Meaning those three sitting in front of her. Because I would be embarrassed if, if, if that lady said core three and I'm sitting in front of her and they ain't talking about me. And I'm in a starting lineup. You're going to start, look, if anything, you're going to start some division. Seriously. This look like it might be a problem, guys. Look, I'm just, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm trying to be realistic. And realistically, it kind of looked like Kelsey might not come back to this team. Or, or... She might be trying to get more money out of the fever. These are things that's up, up in the air. Or she could want to go out there and go make her own team. I don't hope. I don't. Ho I hope she don't do any of those. I hope she stay with this team. I truly do. But y'all know what I say about hope. <sighs> I pray she stay with this team. Please, Kelsey, sign. Do not leave. Please don't leave. Don't leave. They need you. They keep talking about a build and looking forward to the future. That's the scary words they use. The scary words. Look, guys, don't do it. Look. That is my time. I appreciate y'all for stopping in and rocking with your boy. Look, we almost to 4K, man. We almost to 4K. Y'all got to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a part of the channel crew already. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know you are live streams. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. I'm out this thing. We'll be back Wednesday morning with another live stream. I got my times now. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m., not 8 a.m. That's too early, and I get up and go work out in the morning. I got to keep being sexy. Ooh, I know y'all see that sexiness. It's so sexy. Guys, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm out this thing. Peace. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. That's lunchtime for some people. <laughs>